there, this is Elsa with a new process video. Today I'm going to make two layouts. It seems like two layouts. And at first I thought that I was going to do this, these as a double page spread, but then I went completely different and uh, they are completely different pages, but they, they fit rather well together. They, the photos are taken at the same uh, yeah, minute. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, but I'm, I'm focusing on two different things. So, and then I have camera problems. So the right side of the project, uh, you will see the entire process. But then for the left side, I'm only just starting. <laughs> and then I realized when I had finished that the camera didn't record and or it had started recording and obviously I had pressed some wrong button but button and it had stopped. So uh, but you will get to see the finished project at the end of the video so that you can see the result. So I'm starting off by mounting the photos on first of all together and then on black cardstock just to frame them. I really love that this collection has black in it and that it makes it very yeah allowed <laughs> to use more black on the pages. I always use a lot of black on my pages because I uh, yeah I, I like the the accent and I, I feel that uh, black brings out a lot in the photos and and yeah that's just uh, my style I for example when I do titles I often do them in black and when I make like embellishments that I cut on the silhouette I often do that in black as well and here I'm matting the photos on black the occasion then uh, it is my daughter's first day of second grade and she's actually been in school for for two years already but the first year it's not called first grade because that's the second year yeah <laughs> but compulsory school uh, starts at first grade and then we have a, um, a year before that that you can choose yourself if you want your kids to, to go to that year as well. Uh, anyway, so this is her third year at school, but it's second grade. And uh, uh, I kind of ordered Hubby to take these photos because that uh, he was the one taking her to school that day. And he actually went with her into the classroom and took a photo of her uh, at her desk. And uh, as a scrapbooker, I thought that was fantastic. To get this yeah, school feeling with the project. I have made one side of her photos, photo mats, uh, like a notebook edge. And I thought that was really, really, really good. And I must remember so that I can use that technique again, because I, th I felt that it looked perfect, especially for this kind of project. The other side, uh, it's uh, or the, the left side uh, of the project. It is the my two kids and uh, They are making some kind of funny face and since I'm not the one taking the photos I have no idea what the, why they look like this or why they are Making these faces towards the camera, but you got to do <laughs> What you got to do so I'm going to feel I'm going to kind of go towards that my son is surprised that he has only got one year left on daycare before he starts school. So that I, I kind of go with the, the, the fact that he looks surprised and uh, I'm that it's only one year left. And then his, his sister is uh, just there with him uh, sharing his, his surprise. Yeah, that was the thought. So it's school themed, but it won't be school themed uh, in embellishment or anything like that. I'm just going with, with this collection, the She Blooms collection from Illustrated Faith, um, mm -mm, Bella Boulevard, and uh, seeing what I can do to just to, to make two pretty pages. So nothing really themed here. On the right side now, the 
project am I working with? I have cut out a big number uh, uh, the, the grade she's in, 2, and her class is C, so she's in 2C. And uh, that's what I've placed there to the left of the photo block. And I thought that was fun, just to, to emphasize on the fact she's in second, second grade. And one of the pages, or the, the pattern papers in the collection, had these black and white stripes with a kind of a border treatment with flowers. And those are the same kind of flowers that are on the paper that I've chosen as my photo block uh, background. I'm not very fond, fond of papers where the manufacturer has already decided how you're going to use it. So instead of using that black and white stripe paper as it was supposed to, I'm cutting away those flowers with my detail scissors. And since it's on a, a pattern background, I get a little as, like pieces of the black and white stripe left on my cutout. But I decided that I won't care about that. <laughs> so that's the theory behind this. I don't mind. It's okay. Uh, this paper with the flowers has this white with messy dots on the back side. And those I'm going to use as rows on my layout on top and bottom. So the flowers that I cut out will be sticking out from under this white with black dots paper. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy about this. Always when I detail cut, I, I get so happy that I have done it. But I always feel like this resistance from the beginning. Oh, it's going to be so hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it never is. So I must remember that it's always worth it if you want to detail cut uh, something out of uh, pattern paper. It's always worth it. And it's not that hard as it seems before you start. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so this is pretty much the, the beginning. Now I'm going to personalize it even more with some uh, writing. Uh, I once, now it's quite some time ago, I think uh, the year before last year, so 2015, uh, Javi and I went to Stockholm and I got some really nice photos. And one photo there of myself, I made into this very, very personal um, like page with where I scribbled or I, yeah, I, I, I made my kind of my telephone scribbles <laughs> all around the photo. And those scribbles, those are the ones that I always do when I have nothing, when I need to just sit and focus on something, then I, I like to draw. And I make these vines, vines and flowers and uh, leaves and just these swirly curly stuff. I can, I could easily cover a page with them if I had the time. And now I'm going to use those uh, to just accent these uh, flower uh, cutouts that I've made. And I'm, I'm just going to, to do some uh, sticker work first. But uh, in the close-ups later, you'll see what I've done. And, uh, and uh, I'm really happy about that. So just wait a, a bit and, and then you'll see the actual work. I'm writing my titles just or it's not like the title but it's more like the the beginning of the 2C. <laughs> so I'm, I'm writing that this is the first day uh, in uh, grade second grade and with the date and everything. Uh, this collection that I've been working with now for a while I, I really love it. It's so much fun colors and the contrasts are just bigger than with usual collections and they have all the colors and you can easily just do very varied projects. Um, not all of them will be with florals and on the on next page that I will be doing now with the um, photos where my son is present, it will be completely different from this one. It's not only a girly collection, um, 
perhaps if you only have boys and you you like to to stay within gender uh, like uh, <laughs> norms with colors and stuff uh, it's not a good collection uh, but just when when you want to have photos or scrapbook photos with grown-ups or uh, ladies and or you and your friends it's just a perfect collection they it's it's so versatile it has all these different kinds of of elements and it's not themed in any way uh, i must say that the the cutter part sheet it's a bit uh, towards the religious uh, but nothing more than that i had no problem using the sheets oh here i i even showed you uh, so those are my <laughs> my telephone scribbles <laughs> mm? anyway <laughs> uh, I, i'm very happy that i bought this collection i i'm have uh, gotten a lot of layouts uh, out of this uh, package and uh, i feel that they are not the same you know the trouble i had with the uh, superhero collection that i did those pages they were too similar and they had a very very precise style uh, they you could easily pick that those were from the same collection and they they look pretty much the same and the the colors were very kind of what you say they they didn't vary that much they they had a very strict set of colors uh, this collection has almost every color yeah uh, here the that recording stopped so here's the page with my daughter and the close-ups of that page and uh, yeah there you can see my my little vines there <laughs> and also the the white outlining that i did of the die cuts here's the other page the one where my son is in the photos and you see no pink you can do easily a whole page without going floral and pink and really cute prints and uh, colors and just happy 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 love it <laughs> ah i'm i'm just uh, saying a lot of stuff i don't know if it means anything really <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope that you have enjoyed this process video take care see you soon this is osa bye